Thank you for joining us now. Amid the continued decline of the Naira and growing inflation in the country, the price of premium auto spirit uh, called petrol has risen, making it the second significant jump in the price since May uh, when President Bola Tinubu took over, announced that uh, the fuel subsidy was gone. The price had jumped from below 200 Naira per litre at an NPC outlet and many stations across the country to 500 Naira range, which has now been adjusted above 600 Naira per litre. The fuel price jump had been followed by the free float of the Naira in line with President Tinubu's promise of harmonizing various exchange rates, a development that has seen the currency plunge from below 500 Naira per dollar uh, on the official exchange windows to a record low of above 800 Naira. Now, however, there have been strong indications that both development will negatively affect the price of goods, a prediction that has been borne out by the latest inflation figures released by the country's Bureau of Statistics. Okay, so let's uh, get talking now. More for more insight uh, into this development uh, to assess the economic implications of Nigeria, uh, energy analysts. Uh, and of course, the chairman of uh, Ikeja uh, District uh, Society of ICANN, Balazaka, joins us now. Thank you, Mr. Zaka, uh, for joining us. We appreciate you for coming on board. Thank you, and uh, I greet our, our viewers across the globe. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's start by asking you your, your reactions or your take on this, uh, uh, you know, this development uh, from about 500 to another 600, uh, 670 naira, uh, you know, hike. And inflation is biting hard. So how do you react? Nigeria is not going to do Nigeria any good. Anybody who tells you that what is happening is going to be in the positive interest of Nigeria is a very dishonest person. That person is lying. That person is not truthful. I mean, you can practically see it. Ask yourself very simple and elementary question. How do you expect uh, a volcanizer who is going to spend 6,000 naira to buy 10 liters of uh, petrol to be able to break even? That's an elementary question. How many, how many tires is he going to fix? How many cars is he going to work on? Ask yourself, is that a paper seller or a paper seller that is using grinding machine, by the time he or she buys 10 liters at 6,000 Nigerian Naira, how many paper will he or she grind or how much will they charge? Ask a very simple question. Uh, if somebody has a barber shop and has to go and spend uh, uh, 6,000 to buy 10 liters, how many hairs will he or she cut? When you look at it, anybody who tells you that this approach will save Nigeria from the wood is lying to you. Mm. Okay. Um, it's, it's all right. But we'll talk about the implications of uh, these on business and how to get ahead uh, from this uh, situation. But let's talk about critical issues. Um, one is the fact that uh, this, uh, this was not well thought through before it was carried out. Uh, so, but in your own opinion, do you think it was not well thought through? Um, when is the best time to even take this step or make this move? There was no best time. The truth about it is we have, our leaders are deceptive. Our leaders are very wicked and dishonest people. This thing that is happening couldn't have happened during uh, the Libya of Gaddafi. As I'm speaking mm. to you now, it is not happening in Indonesia, it is not happening in Malaysia, it is not happening in Iraq or Iran or Saudi Arabia or Norway. Uh, subsidy is a globally accepted economic pain cushioning concept. In what happened now, uh, what you are supposed to do is to remove the saboteur, not the subsidy. I mean, anybody who tells you that the economy will come out of the world, quote me, it, it, it's pure lies. No matter, even if that person is the president of the world, it doesn't matter. The fact is the fact. What is happening now has rubbish Nigeria. And the next thing you are going to see is, like I said, even before now, that uh, it will lead to our currency devaluation. The Naira has been devaluated already. The next thing you will see is 
they will be they will be forced to re-denominate our naira. Very soon, our 50 naira notes, 100 naira notes, 10 naira notes, and 20 naira notes will become useless. They will force us to start producing 2,000 naira notes, 5,000 naira notes, 10,000 naira notes. What means that I took this thing I'm telling you is the truth, and nothing but the truth, and you will see it. Even those people that you call independent marketers and major marketers, we already said it. They are only after profit maximization. They are not after the interest of the market. Anybody who tells you, it doesn't matter. Even if that person is the president of the OPEC general, tell him I said he is lying. If that person is the president or chairman of African Union, tell him I said he is lying. I'm not, I'm not here. There is nothing to dilute. And when they started this this crash, the price of this was 80 naira, 87. It is about 800 Nigerian naira. Anybody mm -hmm. who tells you that the price of this will come back again is lying to you. At the okay. time they so, started all this, all this trash, the mm -hmm. price of uh, petrol was about uh, less than 100. It is anybody, it doesn't matter. Forget about the person, whether the person is a, a Nigerian or a non-Nigerian. The person will be lying to you. It's okay. Pure so, honesty. Okay. I have no apologies for mm. what I'm telling you. Okay. I stand to have a deal with anybody. Mm. Uh, okay, uh, a point noted. Uh, let's look at uh, measures because people talked about uh, measures that should have been taken uh, before the implementation of fuel subsidy removal. But sh uh, do you think that it was um, w that should have been the best option uh, with regards to you know implementing subsidy removal and if not what should have been the best option or we should have perhaps not even you know try to uh, remove subsidy at all who told you to remove subsidy they didn't know the meaning of subsidy they didn't know the difference between deregulation and liberalization they didn't know the meaning of commercialization and and privatization and they, they didn't know so when they were told, they were not supposed to remove subsidy. Subsidy is associated with government. And tell them that I said, if they don't know elementary economics, they should go into the dictionary, even English dictionary, to find out the meaning of subsidy. So when I hear people say it was because it wasn't planned, it's a lie. What is happening when they were talking about palliative, Nigerians were already, they should have asked themselves, when they remove subsidy on aviation fuel, and diesel and kerosene, did they show you the benefit? So forget about all these things. They, they, they didn't know what they were talking about. Subsidy was not supposed to have been removed. And what the worst thing about it is, when they were coming, they were saying when they come out, they will create value. And some of us said that palliative mm. will take people to nowhere. People were already having their sicknesses. Then you came, you thought you are smarter. You inflicted wounds and injuries and pains on people. And the wounds have become cancerous now. And you are running up and down saying you are looking for medicine and drugs. And that was why I told you I can have this debate with anybody, even United Nations level. What has been done in Nigeria was a, a mistake. The only way forward is to go back. And if you look at it, all of them, including the present leader, they are still pushing towards importation. Nobody wants us to have internal, uh, our own refineries functioning. If you go to Libya, Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Arabia, Arabia their own refinery is not working. So even with what is going on, they are still pushing towards insisting that our refineries must not work. So I can mm. tell you there is nothing as satanic as that. It is a well-crafted and a well-syndicated plan to make sure our refineries do not work. And all the leaders that are technocrats that are supporting what is going on, tell them that I said, that they are morally bankrupt and are suffering from moral insolvency. 